This is Greg Redden, November 1st, 2017, early afternoon. I was just walking outside with my uh, my best friend, my dog, and uh, I was taking uh, comfort in the fact that it's a very beautiful day here for, uh, you know, November in Iowa when it's generally fucking cold, but... Then I saw what I call sometimes the cloud makers. These are government employed um, pilots who man these planes. And these planes, these particular ones that leave trails like this, they're called chemtrails for a reason. They're full of chemicals and particulates, metals. Um, they are flown over the sky for no other reason than to make us sick and do other things that I won't get into right now, including controlling the weather. Um, what baffles me is the same men that or women that man these aircrafts know gassing our skies with toxins. What baffles me is they do this every day knowing that they're all, they breathe this in, their children, their friends, their communities. And that just baffles me. That's a whole different type of stupid from my standpoint. What do I think? I'll ask myself the question. What do I think is the appropriate solution? I don't know in theory. I would never be the one doing it. But it certainly, it wouldn't, if I'm fantasizing, it wouldn't bother me to have a couple men approach these pilots with the very real threat of getting their knees batted should they return to work the next day. Just in my mind, my imagination, we're being theoretical here. It's pretty much my belief that they wouldn't return to work. They'd find new jobs, you know, being that they're, being negatively impacting genocide and furthering genocide and the end to uh, life here on earth. So uh, in my visualization, in my mind, that wouldn't be an inappropriate way to get people who are gassing the earth from doing it any further. And if they do, I guess go back to what I said initially, <laughs> the real threat of batting their knees. Um, the skies are clear out here. Now what these do, if you haven't watched these, and I understand some people don't know about this or don't pay attention to the sky, but after these planes pass, you'll see these chemical trails expand and they look what most people would believe are clouds because you're not gonna to be told by any media outlet other than an independent one, the facts that these are gonna expand. They're gonna create magnification of the sun also. It's got many damaging uh, and also uh, ecological negative effects that are gonna be long lasting and affect all of us, even the people that support this shit. So, I say you start at the top, the people organizing genocide as such, you know, everybody else kind of gets a clean slate, for being manipulated, lied to, ki killed, many of them imprisoned by its own government under false pretenses. See, we're gonna stick with this a little bit. It'll become what looks like a cloud, but it's not in fact. It was a man-made cloud of iron particulates, metals, toxins. And we breathe this in. I have to believe they really fly these at night because 
it's less exposure and people can generally can't see their evils as much when it's done at nighttime. But otherwise, we have what is a uh, clear sky in Sioux City, Iowa on November 1st. And uh, hopefully it stays that way besides this one cloud we had made for us. Now, I won't stick with this very long, but the cloud is, as you can see, the gas trail, the chemtrail is expanding. And when the sun seeps through those trails as well, it, it not good. Best put, not good. Thank you, Greg.